The Late Show from the BBC across Yorkshire and Northern Lincolnshire. I'm Paul Griffiths. That is AHA. The sun always shines on TV. Epic video. They did some epic videos back in the 1980s, of course. Take on me. Probably one of the greatest alongside Peter Gabriel's Sledgehammer. We're going XXL on the misheard lyrics. Stand by for The Beatles and Pink Floyd and Credence Clearwater Revival. Do you remember that? Bad Moon Rising tune. Uh, Also Taylor Swift, which kicks it off next. Of course, Taylor Swift is in the news today. She's also guest on Who Am I? Where there's a lecturer using her work, her best music, to teach Latin. And one of her biggest hits is On The Way Next on Misheard Lyrics on The Late Show. Love this. Urban Hymns, what an album. 97. Bitter, sweet, symphony, the verb. The Late Show, Saturday morning from the BBC with one of the best music videos. We've been talking a lot about music videos on the show tonight. Richard Ashcroft, Mr. Cool, just bashing into everybody as he's walking down the street in that video. From Urban Hymns, of course, The Verve and Bittersweet Symphony's current song with Liam Gallagher is a really good listen as well. It's quite poppy. It's not what you'd expect. Those two collaborating, you'd think, proper rock and roll. Not at all. Uh, It's really good. Okay, let's get on the misheard lyrics. We are going XXL as this is the final time I'm covering for Russ. He's back on Monday. I've had a really good uh, three weeks and we've done some amazing misheard lyrics. We're going big time on the last ones, uh, including Taylor Swift. This is the first one. Her hit single, Blank Space. Everybody knows that. It's got a line in the song that goes, got a long list of ex-lovers which actually sounds like she's singing about coffee. Sounds like she's singing Got Lonely Starbucks Lovers. Have a listen. (laughs) Uncanny, right? Other coffee varieties are out there too. Taylor Swift, Blank Space with her Starbucks Lovers. The next song is a revival from the 1970s. Remember Johnny Nash? Me neither. But you'll remember the song I Can See Clearly. It's been covered a few times. Uh, The chorus, of course, is I Can See Clearly Now the Rain Has Gone. But it actually sounds like he's singing about a person called Lorraine. I Can See Clearly Now the Rain Has Gone. (laughs) Where's she gone to? Where's she gone, Johnny? Shaka Khan, I'm Every Woman. Now, there's a really good cover in the 90s by Whitney Houston from the movie Bodyguard, but the original, amazing. And she sings I'm Every Woman because it's called I'm Every Woman, but it sounds like she's singing, I always thought this, God rest his soul, that she was singing I'm Terry Wogan. I'm Terry I'm Terry Wogan. Still got some amazing ones to play from the Beatles and we'll also get one on from TLC. This is great Carl playing Selena Gomez on The Late Show. The sound of North Yorkshire. the music you love. BBC. Still sounds as good as it did in 1989, right? The Late Show from the BBC with Black Box and Ride on Time. And still one of the biggest selling 12-inch songs ever. Almost 25 to 1 Saturday morning on The Late Show. And Russ is back on Monday. Uh, This evening, bit of a cold one actually, a bit cloudy at first. And then it's going to get a little bit dry through the night with clear skies. But lows down to 2 degrees. It's about 3 or 2 at the minute. And then later today, we've got a chilly start with some sunshine in the afternoon, some sunny spells, patchy cloud and a chance of the odd shower. 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit is the high. And the next few days looking similar as well. Our son, Jake 
is playing his last league football match a bit later on today. I think kickoff's about half ten. He's playing in Wakefield, West Yorkshire, so that's going to be a good game. And hopefully, he plays in attacking midfield. So hopefully, you know, you'll round the season off with them, maybe a couple of goals and a few assists. <laughs> I'm hoping anyway. Hopefully the weather stays nice for that one. Uh, then later on today, we're just going to kind of have family chilled out time. They'll be into the second week of their Easter holidays. Uh, so we'll do some Easter stuff next week and we'll uh, just go for some days out. So hopefully you've got some stuff planned as well. I'm still hooked on this uh, this this Uber fax thing on Twitter. I've got another few more to share with you next on The Late Show, so stay there for that. This guy's got an amazing voice in demand when he performs live. This is Tom Grennan. Don't break the heart on The Late Show. I'm sitting here in this lonely room no. Has to be one of the greatest bands of the 1980s. I love that. Toto, Hold the Line, Rosanna's a brilliant song as well, isn't it? I hope you're good. It's The Late Show from the BBC. I'm hooked on this Uber facts on Twitter. I've got a few more here for you. Every day, humans collectively spend 1.2 million years on social media. That's all of us together. We're all to blame for that. 1.2 million years on social media. Wow. You know, Robert Downey Jr., he's one of my favourite actors of all time. He was pay- paid, right, $10 million for just eight minutes screen time in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. We worked it out. It doesn't take a genius. He made more than $1 million every minute he appeared in the movie. Oh, my goodness. Good work if you can get it, isn't it, Producer Derber? Good work if you can get it. Uh, you know, you can always see your nose, but your brain mostly ignores it. It's true, isn't it? If you think about it now, just just kind of glance down at your nose with your eyes. You can't unsee it now, can you? You just can't unsee it. But your brain is trained to ignore it. An estimated 40% of your happiness is genetic. I always walk around with a smile on my face. My wife might say otherwise. And finally, the M's in M&M's refer to Mars and Muri. The surnames of the two men who created them. Every day's a school day on this show. Harry Styles is back. New album is imminent in May, as it was on The Late Show. Holding me back. Gravity's holding me back. It's one of those songs you feel you've heard somewhere before, isn't it? It's new Harry Styles. The most streams ever in history on day one. It is the number one song this weekend as well. And that is the track that is trending all over the world at the moment. And the new album, it's going to be really good. I was telling producer Derba earlier, I woke up this morning with a bit of pain in the neck. And uh, it's not very often that happens for me, but seriously, I needed to drive first thing this morning. And I'm like, I needed to do some neck stretches before even getting in the car because I wouldn't have been able to drive. It was that painful. So every time something like that happens, every time we get on social media or we get on Google and we research it. And apparently three in 10 women have suffered neck pain, dubbed tech neck, uh, by looking down at their phones too much. This was during kind of lockdown and stuff and people working from home. 30%. And um, the condition is caused by muscles being stressed, leading to neck and shoulder pain. And it may become more common as 42% say using their phones since the start of the pandemic and working from home, not really having a proper office and kind of leaning down and looking at your laptop. That could be the situation. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you've got a pain in the neck. Everybody's on Zoom calls all the time. Uh, The study spoke to 2,000 women over the age of 35 and found that on average, they check their devices 13 times an hour. 13! One in 20 women said they were more concerned about the signs of ageing on their neck than they were about straining it. So there we go. Uh, I've been on uh, Tinternet early and I've got one of these, you know, laptop kind of things where it goes over your knee. It's like a little mini desk and goes over your knee and you can put your laptop on it because I was kind of putting my laptop on the arm of the sofa and then cricking my neck across to look at it to type. That's not good, is it? So I've got one of those coming. I think you know where I got it from. It's one of those that comes kind of next day. <laughs> I'll be looking out for the postman all morning. Neck saver. 
Every time I hear this song, I think of Ricky Gervais and his cheeky grin in the office. Handbags and glad rags by the Stereophonics. Ever see a blind man cross the road? That is now on the list of things to watch this weekend. Reruns of The Office. I can't get into The American Office with Steve Cottrell. I've tried my best. I just don't seem to get the humour like I do with Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. So I might have reruns of The Office this weekend. It's the stereophonics to blame for that, of course. Theme tune, handbags and glad rags. Hey, guys, thanks for making me so welcome at the BBC. Over the last month or so, I've been covering this show for Russ and producer Darren for the last three weeks, and it's been a total blast. Whether you've text, called, or just listened, thank you so much. Uh, I am going to be back on the BBC in the week after next, actually, in for Sanchez Payne on the evening show on BBC Radio Leeds. So really looking forward to that. Thank you so much to producer Derber for doing a phenomenal job over the last seven days. Uh, we just had so much fun on the show. Uh, if you want to follow us, by the way, you can do on on Twitter, I'm at Griffo Media. Have yourself a brilliant weekend. I am going to relax a little bit and chill out. And welcome Ross and Darren back on Monday night. See you soon. Pink and just give me a reason. Right from the start, you were a thief. You stole my heart. And I, your willing victim. I let you see the parts of me that weren't all that pretty. And with every touch you fix them Now you've been talking in your sleep Oh, oh, things you never say to me Oh, oh, tell me that you've had enough Of our love, our love My dear.